Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tengu230. I hope you guys are having a great day. So welcome to a game called Jenny LeClue. It is a playable teaser from the developers known as Mography. At least I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. So as I said, it's a playable teaser. I don't know how long it's going to last, so essentially it's a demo. So it's kind of weird that there's no music for the menu, but anyway, let's go to new game. Please wear headphones. This is a playable teaser, a taste of the atmosphere of Jenny LeClue. Episode 1 will feature a fully voiced cast of characters and a whole world to explore. So join Jenny on a mini adventure and unlock the secrets within. Sounds good. Can I continue now? Do I have to click? I do. Chapter 13, breaking and entering. Oh look, there's me, there's Jenny LeClue. What do I do? Okay. The trail led her here. Looks like she's looking through the window. Pretty cool. Where once she was greeted with open arms. But I guess not anymore. Hello. Now only a locked door. Okay. <gasps> I can lockpick. Can I drag this thing? Uh huh. I don't know what to do here. Uh. Almost? There we go. And the tumbler. Yeah. Am I doing it right? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. What the F? Why was that loud piano, piano banging? The house reeked of mothballs and damp fur. Just as she remembered. It must be here somewhere, she thought. And so she entered. My mic's on, right? Good. Okay. Left click? Alright, let's go. Study... what? Study something's house. Why is that, like, crossed out like XCOM? Okay, so we're sneakily going through. Obviously she's doing this and we're not supposed to be here. What do I click on exactly? I guess I'm going to that one. Ooh, it's creaky. Don't want it to be creaky. I can click on that. There's a diamond on there like I'm playing The Sims. Eh. There we go. Oh shit! Seven. I didn't even listen to the code. What the hell is? Who is that? He's typewritering. That's a word. Okay, it's slowly panning out. Who? Okay, you just went downstairs to type something. But what? Man, the, the, the what? The sound is actually really good. I'm gonna go to the right. I'm gonna see what's over here. If it's, uh, what you call it? Yep, it's a dead end. I'm just double checking. Cool. So this side of the house has windows as well. I don't even remember. I should have really paid attention to whatever radio was saying. But I guess we're going here now with more diamonds to check out. He typed something on that paper, but I can't read it in the dark. Okay. What is that? A can a light. Oh, okay, cool. And I am Jenny LeClue. Okay. Now read it. It smells of fresh ink and cigar smoke. What does fresh ink smell like? Being careful not to disturb anything on the desk, Jenny read the note. Who is that guy with the pipe and the glasses? Gloria, please do not read or move the books when cleaning my study. Thank you. Dash S. Okay, interesting. I didn't have to click that time. Interesting. Is it just going to keep going? Okay, I kind of have to read fast before it goes away. So, oh, there's a thing up here. I don't recognize the person in these photos. I wonder who she is. Uh, the wall was lined with medals and awards. Anything else? A revolver encased in glass hung on the wall, polished but showing its age. And that's it. Nothing. Oh, she's walking a little faster now. Oh, okay, I can click on the window. Water is leaking through the window. Okay. Cool. 
Uh, there's a stain along the floor that runs onto the bookcase. Alright. What about that thing? So many medals and awards. Are these all for the same person? Honorable Field Medal. Marksman Award. Second Prize. ABB Arthurton Brownie Bake Off. Okay. What's in here? I went back to the creaky floor. Don't read or move the books. Okay. What else? It's too dark to see the books. Can I turn on a light, possibly? What is this? Mm -hmm. uh, what was playing on the radio before? I should have paid attention. It sounded strange, like a coded message. Damn it, I should have paid attention. Jenny was curious, but she couldn't risk being caught and left it alone. I sh she didn't leave it alone. What a strange and dangerous decision to turn on the radio. She thought to herself, Did I? Luckily, just then, the batteries died. Awesome. Cool. I didn't fail. That was close, because that was a stupid move. Definitely not what I heard before. I know, just like a regular radio. What is that? It's a skeleton. Why does... What the... F fracky? Did I imagine that? No, I saw it with you too. That was really fucking weird. Okay then. Uh, hmm, let's see. What? Sixteen flutes, three tumblers, half a bottle of scotch, all meticulously cleaned and arranged. Click. Wait a second. Click. That bottle is dusty like it hasn't been moved in years. That one. The one with the alcohol in it? Sure. Let's take that one. I'm right there. Damn it, you lightning. Stop scaring me and startling me at the same time. There's a piece of paper behind the bottle. A new clue! January, I'm assuming that's a date. One, two, please destroy. Okay. A piece of paper, yes. Found one of five clues. Alrighty. Uh. Oh, oh, fuck, man. That scared me. Let's move that back to where its original position. There it was. Just had been described to her. A silver flashlight with bronze trim. It's a flashlight? Flashlight! That is a huge bulb. Uh, there was an inscription on the bottom. Uh, to my handsome prince, always find your way home. Okay, this is it. I knew I'd find it here. It's risky, but now that I have the flashlight, I could find out why he's so protective of his books. What is going on? How do I use my flashlight? You didn't tell me how to use my flashlight. Inventory. I, I can't do it. Can I go right? No, it's still a dead end. I'm gonna go left now. Should I turn that light on? Maybe. It's about, I don't know, should I? Damn it. I shouldn't, I don't think. It's really creaky. Oh. Okay. Ah, books! Hundreds and hundreds of books! There's nothing like losing yourself in a good book. All three! I'm kind of in a hurry here. I don't have time to read them all. What is it Mom always says? Eliminate the noise, focus on the details, and the truth will reveal itself. Much better! Okay, let's find out what he's hiding in these books. I think I'll start with... That one. Which one? Oh, it just zoomed in. Arthur something museum. Luciana Pearl, the latest and grandest installation in the unnatural history in a ghost ship believed to be the ill-fated Luciana Pearl. Okay. Aha! When the merchant ship Shilchiana Pearl set sail on November of something, 72 it looks like. All signs pointed to an eventful journey, however the ship never arrived at its destination was presumed lost at sea. The ship was finally discovered years later by the lighthouse keeper on Lake Island Point shrouded in an eerie green mist. It was completely abandoned yet still in seaworthy condition with no evidence of foul play. Most markedly, it was entirely invisible. Okay. That, okay, cool, I can zoom in. Uh, is there a cool, what? One of two. Oh, okay, what happened to the Luciana Pearl? Over a century later... Luciana Pearl still fascinates Clue here. A new clue! Okay, so that's part of that rip page. Awesome. X. Two of five clues. Cool. Why did it looks like I'm on the right track? These pieces were clearly torn from the same paper. Now to find the rest. Why did its crew and passengers include Captain Hebart Clasby and his wife Lana and the young child simply vanished, leaving a ship full of cargo, including enough food and water for several months behind. How to become visible to the naked eye, the light of a blue moon. Visit the third Tony and museum. Find out for yourself. It's an additional. Okay, alright. How do I exit? How do I leave? How do I get out? You click. Escape. There. What? Oh, okay. Um. X. Oh, I have to go to the straight up bottom. I'll move around the bookcase to find more clues. Okay, I can always step back to see the whole bookcase. And I can use my trusty magnifying glass to get a closer look. What about this thing? Oh, I'm gonna put it back to how it was. 
Oh man, so many books. This books feel like it touches some kind of mechanism. Huh. What about this? Magnifying glass. What the hell? This is so actually this is actually pretty cool. But there's like a lot of books that I need to investigate and it feels like if I'm going through these one by one. Oh my god. Huh, that didn't do anything. Some of these books look like they might be connected, but how? Oh, okay. How about that? And then that. That didn't do anything. And that. Two. This one. Two. No, one. Two. two. Uh, New Year's Eve. Same you love with the time of murder. Okay, nope, that's not it. There are so many books here, it'd be impossible to guess the order. But there are more clues in the other books. Okay. What the hell was that? What's this one? Oh, the skull. 13,000. Uh, fossilized skulls over a... M That's a million years old? Skull once hung in the bedchamber of the murderous Marquis of Mertien. On Hallow's Eve, blah, he brutally killed his wife, her lover, and her handmaiden fire ravages the Chateau Brunard in the early century. The skull was all that survived. Dude, nice. Oh, that's good too. Spiritual relic. That's more expensive. Rather haunting mass with a two-faced spirit at the top. What is going on here? Spirit of a benevolent creature and an owl. Mephistopheles' owl. 237. It's a clue! Yes, I found it. How many? I'm, I'm, there's five torn pages, it looks like, so. Alright. Certainly will turn heads. Okay, uh, let's back out. What about this? My lockpick won't work on this. And there's no combination to crack. Okay then. Okay, let's focus on the clock. Looks like the hour hand is stuck at eight. Huh. What does that mean? Still eight. Think it's broken. Interesting. Oh, what's this? Plants. That's interesting. It's just a picture of a plant. I can't read that. Cultural something. More plants. Uh, a rabbit looking at a plant. <laughs> okay. Uh, seed. Huh? What? That's not cool. It's like growing inside the rabbit. And now it's dead. What the hell? It's found four or five clues. Okay, that rabbit. Alright, there's something else at the back of this book. The last clue, perhaps? What the hell is that? Look at those words. I don't... Ooh, what's this? Smith and Smith. I clicked it. What did I just do? I opened... I opened the safe. It's a remote. Ah, it's the last one. Wow, what an elaborate way to open a safe. Confidential evidence? Zazer? Or Zazer? Zazer. Why is that name familiar? Wait, I know! I've seen his statue in the park. What is this journal doing here, and why is it in the safe? I don't know, but I'm going to check it out. August 3rd, at last, today we begin Project Excelsior. Built a team full of brilliant minds, the journal will serve as a record of our scientific findings and personal reflections. I feel like the cosmic inflation of the universe at the beginning of space and time. Possibility. It kind of reminds me of the Hamburglar's mask. Yeah, everyone's getting along except for the new lab assistant, Kaminsky. Kam Kamansky. That's it. He's straight out of school and thinks he knows everything. I already since I uh, have to keep my eye on him. It's Zazer, like laser with a Z. How hard is that? I swear he's doing it on purpose. Dear Laser, shouldn't leave your journal lying around the lab. Amy. Okay, looks like... Okay, terrible setback. Alright, you guys read that. Cute, I think you're cute. Oh, wow, okay, that's cool. That's like a Breaking Bad. It kind of reminds me of B-A... B-R-B-A. Uh, days are blurring together. And they're doing doodles with... Uh, Tic-tac-toe. More setbacks. Okay, seems like setbacks. Who keeps stealing my pens? Hmm. Hilda laughed. She took the furniture with her. So good is pie with a knife in it. Ferris wheel. Oh, the irony. I'm sleeping in the lab. Okay, what am I doing here? Serves a greater purpose. Amy has disappeared. I'm worried. No, she's gone. I got access to security reels. She goes in the bathroom and floor, but never comes back. How is that possible? She went to disappear without talking to me. Would she? Disappeared. He Wow, he's drawing like a little cloud diagram thing. Buy new underwear. 
How long have you been there? Where is she? Can't sleep, so no word from Amy. Where is she? What a bittersweet feeling. We're finally getting stable, repeatable results. What are they doing? I don't even know what these graphs do. Meet with Detective Barnes about Amy. It makes zero sense to me. I'm starting to think that they aren't in this for the right reasons. The last demonstration that went perfectly, and now they want to get rid of us? They got their answer. Too late. So naive. Can't get her face out of my mind. That terrified look in her eyes. Amy is dead. Why her? All my fault. All my fault. A warning. I know too much. Must destroy experiment and all documents before they find it. What is going on? A new clue. Those signs are for the zodiac signs. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wait, can I... Uh, exit. I found all five clues. Awesome. Now what do we do? Rotate... Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's definitely the top portion. And, uh, this way. So what's going on here? Wow, thank you for your purchase of this state-of-the-art bookcase safe. My leg is falling asleep. Uh, this says I need to pull three books in the correct order to open the safe. Okay, but I thought I already opened the safe. There's a safe in the back. Unless... Maybe this whole bookcase is a giant safe. Only one way to find out. Okay, so instruction step one. Check the current time and note the hour. It's 8 o'clock. Pull the book from the months group. Pull the book from the zodiac group. Pull the book from the numbers group. To unlock your new safe, you must pull three books in the correct order. Refer to the chart on the reverse side for corresponding books. Please memorize and destroy after reading or store in a safe place. Okay. So if it's 8, then it's... Lion? Sorry, Leo. Leo, August 8th? Is that right? I guess I'll see. What was that noise? Oh, okay. So, which group is this one? Oh, March. Oh, okay. August, this one. Okay. One. I, I need to check. Wow, I really need to use my magnifying glass, even though I can't really just put my face up to the book. Okay, so, there you go. Eat my hand. That's got to be it. It's this one. Wow, I did it. Cool. It's all eights. Awesome. And that closes. And that one opens. What the hell is in there? Ah, the old secret door in the bookcase. I knew there was more to this room. Let's find out what real secrets you've been hiding. And that's it. That's gotta be it. Jenny hesitated at the doorway. What secrets would she find? And what would she discover about him? As she crossed the threshold, she knew there was no turning back. Then that's it, dot dot dot. Left click? I guess so. What is all this? Home security gone crazy? And how does that all fit behind a bookcase? It looks like someone was just here. I can move around still? Wow, there's way more to this game. Alright, I don't know how much more of the game there is, but we shall see. What are all these screens for? Also, thanks for joining me. That coffee is still warm. Okay, why do I have such a narrow field of view? Let's click on that. That recording device looks really expensive. The wires run over to those monitors. Whatever it's recording, it can't be good. Okay, what's that? Elevator button. I've never seen a lock like this. Oh, it's not a button, it's a lock. I wonder what kind of key it takes. A circle one. And that is... This house only has two floors. So why does this elevator have so many more, and where does it go? Okay, I can't go to the left. I can't go to the right. This is weird. There's nothing else I can do. Oh, okay, I clicked that, but I guess you can look. Do not push! The complexity of the controls overwhelmed Jenny. How could a little girl possibly navigate such an elaborate system? Dot dot dot. There are two buttons and a joystick. Cool. I'll figure it out. Hey, is that the front door? Uh, how am I supposed to do? 
Headless body found by lake. Okay. Change camera. That is one creepy ass freaking raccoon, man. <laughs> it's just looking at the freak. It's just looking at the camera. What is that? Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, raccoons. Are you robots in disguise? Because that's. That, oh, okay, good. I thought that one disappeared, but it didn't. Alright then. Uh, nothing all the way to the left. Cool. Camera at a graveyard site. Perfect. Why does that say do not push? I feel like I'm just gonna want to push everything. And he's got cameras all over Arthurton. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay. Damn, look at all. He has cameras to look at cameras. What is that looking at? I have no clue. Is that a road? Maybe. What's that? A T-Rex skeleton? But yeah, it's a dinosaur skeleton. Rafters are playing with each other. What the hell busted out of there? It's not at the museum, man. And another user has taken control. Oh no. Oh shit. Can I push the button now? Oh my god, who is that? Who is that? Oh my god. Jenny LeClue, Detective Vu. We hope you enjoyed this playable teaser. I'm going to say I really did. That was really fun. Please consider supporting our tiny team by pre-ordering at Jenny LeClue. Joe and Team LeClue. I like the song. Alright, so that's it for the playable teaser for Jenny LeClue Detective. So, I guess that Arthur Finkels, was that Finkelstein guy? He was writing the story of Jenny LeClue, but when I was playing, it just seemed like he was kind of like, yeah, I guess he was directing, like, what, what was going on. That's kind of an interesting dynamic. So, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Jenny LeClue, um, let me know if you want me to play it or something when it actually comes out. Uh, I don't really see a date on it right now. Maybe I'll just check later. So, anyway, if you guys made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and Tinker230 out. Alright, guys. Game on, everybody.